so welcome to the playstation 2 free mc boot tutorial where we will guide you through the process of easily installing free mc boot on a memory card using a usb drive free mc boot works with most models but it is always a good idea to check compatibility with your specific console and a 64 gb usb drive is enough let's move on to the step involved start by downloading the required file on your computer these files will be used to install FreeMC Boot on your memory card. This file folder we need on a separate USB drive. From this we run this ELF file to install FreeMC Boot on a fresh memory card. Secondly we need this USB utility software to install games on the USB drive from a game ISO. Finally we need opnps to loader.elf file at the root of our 64 GB USB drive. Here are some pics for the ART folder which we need later. Also we can install the theme of your choice by copying it into the DHM folder which we need later. Now connect your USB drive to your computer, make sure it is properly recognized and format it correctly. Yeah, th the USB drive has shown up. First check for its properties and uh, format it to the USB FAT32 file system. The USB drive must be formatted in the FAT32 format. Transfer the downloaded OpenPS2 loader version this 1.1 file to the root directory of your USB drive. That's enough for now. Here we need to convert and install an ISO game into the USB drive. So after running this utility software, from the file tab menu select the convert game from ISO first from the right select the destination drive letter as in my case it is drive K so select K drive secondly on the left I have some games ISOs on my computer we'll select the PS2 game folder as you can see in the box below games iosos list let's select one of them to install on the usb drive i choose the crazy frog iso file and press the create tab button it starts creating the game in a usb format game on the process is completed game file size will be shown file size is here close it interestingly you can see three files here on the USB drive only three once the files are on the USB drive remove it from your computer and connect it to your PlayStation 2 console but first I will make a new free MC boot memory card So here is a pre-installed FreeMC boot memory card and I have inserted the USB drive containing the required file folder. Run the launch ELF. 
press the O button on the controller. Select mask to go into the USB drive. Here is the FreeMC boot bin file. Press O on the folder and run the FreeMCB installer ELF file by pressing again the O button. Here I will replace the memory card with a new one. Even we can format the memory card with this utility. Now I will select the multi-install tab to make the memory card bootable on pressing yes will install all the necessary files to the memory card. After completing the new installation, press OK and then exit. Again press the O button to boot it via the memory card. Here I will connect the 64GB USB drive with copied opl.elf file and one game installed on it to the PlayStation 2 console and press the reset on PS2. Here keep pressing the start button on the controller. Press the O button to go into the FreeMC boot configuration. You will select the configure E1 launcher keys by pressing the O button. The first auto OSD sys select it, go into mass and finally select this OPL ELA file. You should save this setting to return. Save CNF to mass and in MC0 as well. Exit. It will make directly boot the OPL. In the OPL we need to set some settings. So go into the settings option. Go down to BDM start mode and set it to auto. Set the last option as BDM games. Remember to save all these changes. As you can see the game name has shown up here but the game profile picture is not there. So take the USB drive out and connect back to your computer. Back to the computer you will observe some changes in the root of the USB drive. There you can see many other folders with different names. We need some of them. For example, art. We can transfer 
in the art folder I can transfer game profile pictures I can transfer themes of, of my choice to the THM folder too USB must be safely removed from the hardware icon before separating it from the computer. Back to the PlayStation, the USB is being inserted. I reset the PS2. Here you can change OPL display settings by pressing the start button. We can select the theme file folder and turn on the cover art for the game profile picture. Finally, it is done. I here I will let you check it again by pressing the reset button here you can see that it is directly booted up to the game list congratulations you have successfully installed free MC boot on your memory card using a USB drive. Now you have the freedom to explore Homebrew and enjoy a wide range of additional functionalities on your PlayStation 2. Thank for watching our PlayStation 2 tutorial. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more gaming content.